Light is a symbol of knowledge. Conversely, darkness is a symbol of mystery or ignorance. Light has allowed humans to have understanding. The human eye is limited in its capacity to observe the electromagnetic spectrum. Humans have overcome these limitations through the use of optics. The fields of art and astronomy are connected by the impact that optics has made on both fields. This video presents the topic of optics in respect to the different ways it has influenced the fields of art and astronomy before photography, after photography, and with the invisible ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum. Before photography, humans did a lot of observing through the naked eye. Human eyes have an integration time of about 100 milliseconds, a quantum efficiency of about 10%, a resolution of about one arc minute, and can only see wavelengths from about 350 nanometers to about 700 nanometers. Therefore, there was a need for lenticular devices to overcome these limitations. The telescope's increased resolution allowed Galileo to discover the satellites of Jupiter, leading to the shift from the Ptolemaic system to the Copernican system. Later, Romer proved that the speed of light is finite. This means that light from distant objects reaches observers much later than when the light was emitted or reflected. Essentially, astronomers are looking back in time by observing distant objects, allowing them to learn the history of the universe. In the 1700s, Canaletto may have used the camera obscura to project images through a pinhole, which allowed for accurate linear perspective and depth of field. The images produced were dim because of the little amount of light. Lenses were used to gather and focus more light, creating brighter images. Lenses allowed humans to overcome resolution problems. This led to the invention of photography. In 1840, John W. Draper photographed the moon, producing the earliest known astronomical photograph. Early on, the photographic process was so expensive, time-consuming, and only yielded one photo that it took a while for it to secure its place in astronomy. In the world of art, however, Photography was the preferred method of portraiture for patrons because of its high fidelity and optical realism. It was the world of art then that kept early photography alive long enough to become something more practical. The public no longer had a great demand for artists to reproduce images. Photography freed the artist allowing for the exploration and discovery of abstract and autonomous conventions in art. This was one of the greatest paradigm shifts in art comparable to the previously mentioned Ptolemaic-Copernican paradigm shift. Photographs allowed for a longer exposure, increasing integration time. Light coming from things that were once dim could now be collected over time to produce bright images with great fidelity. Technology made it possible for humans to overcome the integration time and quantum efficiency limitations. Humans still had to overcome the limited range to which they are confined to see on the electromagnetic spectrum. Photography led to the discovery of X-rays and the invention of more powerful instruments for observing them. In astronomy, the invention of X-ray telescopes led to various discoveries including black holes, pulsars, the life cycles of astronomical objects, etc. In art, X-rays allowed paintings to be observed in layers, isolating different pigments to see how a painting was made and what was corrected or changed. Essentially, art historians are looking back in time to learn the history of a painting. Optics provides evidence that the human mind has the capacity to overcome the challenges of the body that houses it. Even with such limited direct input, the human mind is able to create devices that translate otherwise unobtainable data into visible frequencies of light. Optics has transformed the way both astronomers and artists observe, understand, and interpret the world around them.